How's it going guys? It's Darren with muzzleloaders.com and we're at SHOT Show 2022 and it is time for the weekly wrap up. But before we get started, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, click the bell to receive notifications whenever we post content and let's get into it. Well, SHOT Show this year was definitely a little bit different than SHOT Show in years past. Uh, attendance was noticeably down. Normally SHOT Show is just packed to the gills with people. Um, this year there was a little bit more breathing room, but there was more people than I was anticipating. So it was a lot of fun getting to meet some new people and connect with some of the people that we already had relationships with. There were certain brands that we normally like to hang out with that were not able to make it this year. And so that was kind of disappointing, but a lot of our brands were here and we were able to get some good content with them. And so, uh, and also be able to connect and just build that relationship. And especially not having SHOT Show last year, it was really nice to be able to catch up with some of those people we hadn't seen for a couple of years. As you guys probably saw in our uh, daily wrap-up videos, we did record a couple of podcasts, one with CVA and one with Petter Soli. That is going to be some really good content you're not going to want to miss out on. Uh, we did tease it a little bit. CVA is going to be releasing some new products, and we do go over those products in detail uh, in that podcast. And those products have not been released yet, so there's almost no information on them available at this time. Uh, but with Jason Sebo, we were able to get a lot of info on that, so you'll definitely want to check that podcast out. And then with Justin Dodd, uh, we talked about all things Petter Soli. We went into the background, um, a lot of the things that uh, Petter Soli does with their testing, how they hand make muzzle loaders, and uh, just a lot of really in-depth, good stuff in that podcast that you're going to want to check out. So we were able to record quite a bit of content this week, and some of it is going to be trickling out within the next couple weeks. but. Some of it will have to wait a few months as some of the products we were able to make videos on have not been released yet. And so uh, definitely don't be surprised if you see SHOT Show content going up mid-year uh, because we just can't release some of that footage now, but we wanna make sure we have it for when it does go live. If you guys have any questions about things that maybe we missed out on or anything like that, drop them in the comments because we do wanna answer those questions. We also had a lot of fun walking the show and we tried to stick to mostly muzzleloader content but we did have uh, get distracted a couple times looking at ARs and some of the other tactical and outdoor gear that you can get to see it here at SHOT Show. We also had a whole team of people walking the show looking for new brands to bring into the muzzleloaders.com fold. And uh, we were able to find some good brands. We can't really talk about that super in depth right now, uh, but keep an eye on the website because we are gonna be adding those brands as information and products become available. Overall, SHOT Show 2022 I think was a huge success and uh, we had a lot of fun being back. We really missed it last year. And it was fun to get back here, create some content, and catch up with the people that we uh, really enjoy hanging out with, meet some new people. And so if you guys have any questions about SHOT Show 2022 or our content moving forward this year, drop it in the comments below or give us a call, shoot us a message on social media, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.